Today I want to show you how to do a Google advanced search. And this has changed over the years a little bit, but basically this is a wonderful way to use Google to find things besides websites. And this is especially useful for teachers and students. Let's say I need to teach a lesson in the coming days on rock formations. I'll just go to Google, type in rock formations, and it gives me a bunch of different results. Now, I want to show you some advanced ways that you can interact with the results that you get when you do these kinds of searches. By default, you're just going to get websites. Chances are you'll get thousands and thousands of websites. In this case, 14 million websites. Now, of course, you can click here where it says images and get images instead of instead of websites, and that's that's nice. You can get maps, videos, other things as well. For teachers, it's probably mostly going to be web and images that you'll be picking. But notice here it says search tools. I can click that and it gives me all of these advanced ways that I can interact with the results or sift through the results of my search. For example, I can click any time and choose to limit the results to just the past week or the past hour and you get different results. You can also change, instead of getting all results, you can get the results of a certain reading level. So I'll click that. And let's say I know that several students in my class are reading at a very basic reading level. All I have to do is click basic and I will get only articles that are understandable at a basic reading level. The image search also has some built-in advanced search tools. After doing a search for some images, you can click the search tools button and you'll notice that these options are different than the website options. For images, I can click on size and force it to only give me large images if I need you know, high quality pictures or medium or icon size images or larger than a certain amount or exactly a certain size. So there's some great size options. There are color options. Let's say I only want rock formations that are orange in color. I'm going to go back to any color. Notice that you can also search for different types of, of images. Photos only, clip art, line drawings, animated items. Let's take a look at uh, clip art. If I select clip art, you'll notice that it's all changed and now it shows only drawings and uh, other kinds of art. If I choose line drawing, it should give me lots of, of things that could be printed as coloring pages or things like that. Let's move over to usage rights. With usage rights, you can select to show only items that are labeled for reuse. And this is great for teachers especially so that you can make sure that you're following copyright laws and fair use guidelines. Those are really great advanced search tools that uh, are available. But if you want even more, you can go to the upper right corner after you do a search and you'll notice this little gear symbol. That's the options button. And if you click it, one of the options is advanced search. I'm going to select that and it remembered that I was searching for rock formations but I could type anything there. I can also tell it to avoid results that have any of these specific words. Okay, And I could make a list of, of different words that I want it to avoid. I can search only for a specific language, etc. But one of the best things to know about here, especially for teachers, is that you can search for specific file types. So instead of searching and getting results for websites in this case, I don't want websites. I would like maybe a PowerPoint presentation. So I'll select Microsoft PowerPoint, Advanced Search, and it gave me 3,990 PowerPoint presentations dealing with rock formations. And these are available for the taking and for, the, for using in the classroom. So instead of every teacher in America, every science teacher, every uh, geography teacher creating the same presentation over and over and over, why not just download what other people have created 
and use it for your own uses. So you can see this is a uh, rock formations presentation that someone else has created, uploaded for public use, and I can take this as my own. I'm of course going to give credit to the person who originally created it if, if possible, but I can definitely go in and adapt this, I can edit it, lengthen it, whatever I need to do, and save it to my computer so that I can use it with my students. I'm going to hit the back arrow to go back to the advanced search just to point out that you can also do special searches for Word docs which would give you some handouts, maybe some quizzes, maybe some tests that teachers have uploaded. You could also search for PDFs which would give you again handouts but probably also things like manuals and other kinds of materials that are professionally produced. And then the last one that I want to highlight, although there are many other exciting uh, f file types that you can search for, is the Shockwave Flash file type. If I do the search for that, the results that it gives me should be interactives or flash videos or sometimes even games that um, I can use. And very often these are educational and will help our students learn. So I hope that you'll take advantage of the Google Advanced Search to help you find activities and materials for your students.